on everyone Curtis here in this video I'm going to be talking about the supply chain for Amazon sellers I want to be able to give you guys a complete overview of where the product gets manufactured all the way down through the line up until it lands in the hands of the Amazon seller okay that will directly affect the amount of profit that you're able to generate from every sale and every product uh, and it all boils down to how many hands does that product go to before it gets to yours okay because everybody who has their hands on that product is also getting a piece of the profits all right so let's dive right in let me move this out of the way here okay so here we have a complete overview of basically uh, day one of a product all the way up until it reaches uh, an Amazon seller's hands, okay? So the very first stage of a product's life, uh, it starts at the manufacturing stage. So we can call that the brand if you want to. So that's your Hasbro, your Mattels, your Apple, your Nike, right? Uh, it all starts in a manufacturing plant. That's this stage right here. Typically, this process takes place in China overseas. So the brands have their stuff manufactured over there because it costs uh, way, way less. Uh, it's far cheaper to have things manufactured overseas than it is in North America. Anywhere in Canada or the US uh, is just too much, okay? So once the product is created, that's phase one, okay? So now it pretty much gets uh, loaded onto a container ship or shipped air freight into North America, uh, whether that's Canada or the US, uh, and it lands in the hands of the distributor, okay? So dis the distributor's job is to distribute the products. Uh, typically, the merchandise will go in a couple directions from here. One direction is the distributor will kick off that merchandise uh, to the retail uh, and the chain stores, the stores like the Costco's, the Walmarts, uh, the Targets, the CVS, the Walgreens, uh, the Shoppers Drug Marts, those kind of places, right? Uh, and that's where they will sell off their merchandise. Uh, another route that the distributor will go is they will also deal directly with Amazon on some specific brands, on some specific products, uh, on a case by case, uh, throughout all different categories, right? Uh, the distributor will also deal uh, directly with Amazon. From there, um, the merchandise can also be sold to uh, another downstream wholesaler, okay? Typically, these are smaller uh, outfits. They're smaller wholesalers. Uh, they're not able to establish accounts with these big brands to purchase directly from China. Uh, the minimum order quantities typically are too high. They're in the millions and multi-millions of dollars uh, a, a year that you have to spend with these brands to maintain your accounts with them. Uh, so therefore, uh, bigger distributors uh, are typically the ones that have the direct accounts with the manufacturers. Uh, smaller wholesalers will then have to deal with a, uh, a bigger distributor, right? So they're more of a downstream client so they're further down the cycle so this all plays into what we talked about earlier where um, the more hands that the product go through uh, the more people who are taking a piece of that profit out uh, and all that means is that your um, your purchase price um, is typically higher right the further down the line you are uh, on the supply chain uh, the higher your purchase price is right so with all that being said, um, after the distributor sells it off to the smaller wholesaler, um, he has his fee on there. And that's where um, a lot of Amazon sellers are tending um, to migrate. And that's where I see uh, a lot of the Amazon sellers uh, lately. Um, not I shouldn't say lately, but that's where a lot of the Amazon sellers as beginners start out. Uh, they go directly towards these um, uh, more accessible uh, suppliers or more accessible wholesalers that, that are coming up in the Google searches and stuff like that, right? 
typically these uh, wholesalers right here, uh, they're always spending a lot of money on ads and ad budgets to come up in the Google searches, and that's why they're so easily found. A lot of sellers that I'm talking to, they're always finding the same uh, couple of suppliers in the Google searches, right? Uh, nothing wrong with starting out there. There's great money, great profits. Uh, I still continue to fish out of those uh, whole, smaller wholesalers as well. But uh, to get the better profit margins uh, that we're all trying to uh, chase after in the Amazon game, you want to be uh, as working with those distributors that are as close to the manufacturers, close to the brands as possible, right? Again, there's nothing wrong with working with these guys right here. Um, they have great deals. Uh, there's lots of money to be made with them, but um, long-term play and you're, you're better off working with uh, the distributors that are closer to the manufacturer, right? Naturally, you wanna make as much profit as possible, right? So if you can shave off this guy's 15, 20% that he uh, upcharges on the product when he receives it. If you can cut that guy out of the picture, all of a sudden uh, that just goes right to your bottom line, increases your profits, right? So naturally as the Amazon seller, you wanna be working with distributors that go right for the manufacturer, right? Get the goods as close to the source as possible. Heck, uh, anytime you ever have the chance or the opportunity to um, establish accounts with manufacturers or brands that have good products that sell on Amazon. Uh, there probably won't be accounts like Hasbro or Mattel or Apple or Nike, uh, big, big, big brands like that. But who knows, um, smaller brands, um, smaller mom and pa brands, even some reputable brands you could land accounts with. It's all a case by case basis, right? Uh, I'm just explaining naturally you need to get accounts and buy inventory from uh, sources that are as close to the manufacturing stage as possible, right? So with all that being said, um, some suppliers do deal directly with Amazon. You definitely want to try and stay away from those types of suppliers. Um, if they are dealing with Amazon, and Amazon is one of their big uh, customers and they're selling a lot of SKUs directly to Amazon all of a sudden you get their price or their product sheet you start going through it um, turns out Amazon is on you know 95% of the listings and that doesn't work out for you right because you typically when Amazon is on those listings you can't uh, make a lot of money right so again uh, suppliers or distributors that deal directly with Amazon you might want to maybe just grab their list, look at it, you know, every couple of weeks. Uh, if it turns out that Amazon is on the list all the time, maybe that you move on from that uh, distributor. But again, typically, uh, if there's one key takeaway that you can take from this video, it's that you want to get your products, you want to get your inventory from distributors that work as close to the manufacturing process as possible, okay? Thanks for watching guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. We would greatly appreciate that. Um, if you have any comments, questions, please drop them down below in the comment section. We will be sure to reach out, get your question answered. Um, again, that's how we all learn is by asking questions. And again, guys, if you're getting great value from the channel, please take a second and hit the subscribe button. Uh, that keeps you guys up to date with any future content that we release to the channel. This right here, what we just talked about, the supply chain, uh, this is just a small sneak peek of what we actually go over in our Amazon Wholesale Training course. Uh, the course is a complete overview from A to Z, uh, what you need to do to start, set up, and scale a profitable, successful business on Amazon. Um, it's a great way to really fast track your learning. Um, the stuff that we're providing on YouTube is, uh, again, sneak peeks of the uh, Amazon Wholesale Training course. So if you're interested in that at all, please feel free to reach out to us and we will get you set up with that link. Uh, again, if you guys enjoyed this video, 
uh, hit the subscribe button and have a great rest of your day.